Hello, good day everyone. Um, we are now live in our Facebook page. I miss you all. Kumusta? It's already summertime. No more schooling. Done with the graduation and all other uh, schoolwork. Even Shansi Kati also studying no, for my PhD in SPED. I'm also done with all my requirements. So preparing for next semester. Okay, let's come to the Lord in prayer. Caleb, are you there? He said, Marvin, thank you for being here this afternoon. I know everyone in a vacation mode. <laughs> but, you know, uh, setting aside our time to know the Lord more is really uh, honoring God. Okay. Uh, Marvin, can I ask you to, I guide you to open in prayer. You unmute. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, thank you for coming to this church. And thank you for coming to coming to Estamos Ministries International. Thank you for guiding us. Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Marvin. I'm so happy you learned how to pray. Our topic today is about cheerful giving. How are you in our cheerful giving? Last week, that's our topic rather. Today, we will talk about what are the hindrances, why people have that hesitant or not so cheerful in their giving. What do you think? What makes someone not so cheerful in their giving? It's not easy to give, no? Sometimes. What do you think? How's your experience? Caleb, Hesed, how are you? Marvin, how's your experience when it comes to giving? Ah, no comment. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, when it comes to giving, sometimes there are things like uh, you're, maybe you feel like uh, they are more capable to give than, than you or maybe you think like that. So we'll see what we can learn this afternoon. Huh? Hindrances to cheerful giving. Why it's so hard to give, let alone giving cheerfully. Do you know GPS? Usually GPS is something like um, guides you where you want to go. No? So GPS stands for because of greed, because of poverty, and S stands for self-indulgence. Yeah. So sometimes due to these three things, people are hesitant to give. Actually, Giving sometimes is really like, uh, it hurts also if you give uh, sacrificially. Huh? So can you please read this, Marvin? Greed, Hesed. Maybe. Singapore, humanity. humanity. Human, humanity is basically greedy. We want it. Or for ourselves, we might not show it, but if we, it, but deep inside we know we pray for it. Ourself centered at the every core. Yeah. So some people due to balang they want it all by themselves. I want more yummy food. Do you want more of these material things? That's why you have. Uh, difficulty really uh, being giving. No, Mark 7, 21, 22. Are you there, Hesed? Can you please read? You are not um, turning on your video, Hesed. So for from within, out of oh, my... JJ, are you there, JJ? is not here it's okay they have activity oh no. 
Yes, it's okay, Hesed. It's again, Mark no. 7. What? You want to read? No need to cry, Hesed. For from within, out of man's heart, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, thefts, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and fully. You know, if without Christ, no, our hearts is really like we are prone to commit sin. No? We feel like we are having these kinds of tendencies. That's why we need accountability. We need God's word. We need to attend weekly kids church to remind us what God wants us to do. No? And to encourage us to obey his commands. Because left on our own, look, our hearts comes evil thoughts. Not only in our hearts, no? Also, also in our mind, if we are not careful, you know, um, like ants, no? If there's food left in your, on your table, you... In few minutes, you can see ants. If left on our own, our mind thinks negative, like automatic negative thoughts, ants, no? So we need to guard our hearts so that it will not also feel negative. So mind and heart, you guard it because the mind is the battlefield of the enemy. If you're not careful, our mind could be a place where the enemy can feed negative thoughts and in our hearts. So let's guard our hearts not to be greedy. No? Here, greed. So can you please read this? Hi, Sky. So happy to see you inside, Sky. After Abraham Lincoln became president, before the days of civil service, office seekers besieged him everywhere trying to make to get appointment to various jobs throughout the country. Once confined to bed with typhoid fever, declared to his secretary, bring on the office seeker. I now have something to give to everybody because some people wants to become president, no? So because he's sick, so he think of others to to fill in his position. Sadly, no, actually, if you're in the position, sometimes you want really to just you all the time to be the president, to be the head of the company. But you know, it's good to also think of succession planning. You always think that there are others better than ourselves, meaning um, you also give chance for others to lead, no? Like, for example, in a school, as a school principal, I also think that, yes, I give the position to somebody who is more qualified or someone who can take leadership. I can do other things naman, no? So, uh, let's not be so greedy with our position of our wealth, no? Someday. I don't know about you kids, what struggles you have as a young people that you have difficulty sharing. I think Caleb is not in her, in his position. Caleb, where are you? So, but as believer of Jesus Christ, yes, Caleb, greed must not have a place in our lives. If you feel that you become greedy, you just think of yourself, pray to God, no? to help you be thoughtful, be great uh, be be giving ma my microphone is not working oh thank you Caleb for responding I know you're there okay I hope you can uh give me your answer in the chat box huh if I ask questions so I just read it so Ephesians 5 3 can I ask Kai to please read Ephesians 5 3 you are new Not the content of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed because there are improper for 
These are improper for God's holy people. Okay. Um, thank you. So Ephesians 5.3 also tells us not to have this kind of sexual immorality, any kinds of impurity, of greed. No, always remember, be careful of greed because these are improper for God's holy people. So God does not want us to have this kind of attitude. Exodus 20, 17. Can I ask, Lauren, can you please read, Lauren? Exodus 20, 17. Unmute, please. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his maid, manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Um, has said, if you're feeling better, I will call you, huh? So if it's not yours, do not get. Okay. So, what else? Can you read this guy again? A man had a example rushed to the hospital. He would receive little company and was not to be exited. Well, in the hospital, a rich uncle died and left him million dollars. His family wondered. How to break the news to him with the least amount of excitement. It was decided to ask the preacher if he would go and break the news quietly to the man. The preacher went and gradually led up to the question. The preacher asked the patient, what would you do if he inherited a million dollars? He said, I think I would give half of it to the church. The preacher died. Hello, Jeshra. So, Usually, um, out of joke, no? Kasi as a church worker or servant of the Lord, uh, when somebody give unto the Lord, we will be uh, not shocked, pero probably the term there, why the pastor painted ba? Or died talaga? Painted, no? Kasi he was shocked that a person can be so giving on his deathbed. And that's nice, no? To leave a legacy. Some people, like, when in their, um, they plan already, like, they get some insurance. When they die, they put beneficiary, a church, or a charity to bless when they are not here on earth. But even while we are here on earth, when we are yet when we are still healthy, we give unto the Lord our time, our resources. Let's not be greedy. Okay, that's first hindrance to cheerful giving. How about you kids? What makes it difficult to give? Is it also because of this word called greed? You can unmute her if you'd like to answer. Caleb, you can also type in the chat box. So next, why people cannot be so cheerful in giving because of poverty. Poverty is general scarcity or the state of one who lacks a certain amount of material possession or money. It is a multifaceted concept which includes social, economic, and political elements. So when you say poverty, you feel like you're always like kulang, no? You feel like it's lacking. So poverty is a serious national global concern. I believe that God in the Bible clearly speak out against it and gives special attention concern to those who are plagued by it like the orphans and widows so there are many causes of poverty can somebody read um jeshra what's the name of gian no? so next i call you gian jeshra what are the causes of poverty why people are poor because 
because of divine judgment, laziness, immoral lifestyle, lack of discipline, impulsive and reckless decisions. Like guarantor. Yes, like thank guarantor. you. Um, do you know all these things? And uh, Napa, letter F, continue, Joshua. Because of that. Debt, disregard of God's law, disregard of God's work, temple, opri oppression, April, oppressions, famine, misfortune. Yeah, you know famine when there's scarcity of something. So I don't know which one of these that you are not familiar. You know, impulsive, like you really want to buy this, buy that. You don't budget. Reckless decision, like you guarantee for someone. Example, like your friend wants to borrow money and your friend asks you to be a guarantor. Please never do that because very clear in the Bible, God does not want us to be a guarantor meaning oh if my friend will not pay i will pay for him next that's a guarantor so that's a reckless decision so please never guarantee for someone or else you will be the one forced to pay the debts divine judgment probably of things that he has done is judged no that's why uh, god is not pleased so he is poor or because you are lazy, you don't like to work, you just want people to feed you. You are so entitled. Ah, it's okay. My my parents are rich. I don't need to work. And what if your parents will die someday? So what will happen to you? So you will be poor because you're lazy to learn. While they are still alive, you don't try to work and save money. So... That's some of the reason why people are poor and immoral lifestyle. Remember the parable of the lost son? He get his big inheritance. And what did he do? Immoral lifestyle. Drink here, drugs there, or uh, spend nightlife. So many spending until to the point nothing is left. He has to work feeding the pigs like that. So sad. You know, let us not be lazy. By the way, going back, I just thought of our lesson in DVBS. Greed also don't be the parable of the rich fool. No, Thinking, I will accumulate, hoard all the harvest, build bigger barns. And what will happen? Sabi ni God, oh, tonight. Your life will be demanded of you. So meaning he died that night. So what happened to all his riches? He cannot bring it with him to eternity. No? So let's not be greedy. Let's learn how to share. What happened in the parable of the talents? When you don't use your talent, you just hide it and buried it. God will take your talents and then give it to the someone who knows how to make that money his talents, use it, um, let it grow and be a channel of blessing to many. No, So let's learn to share, to give. Let's learn to obey God's laws and obey his uh, desire for us to be a cheerful giver. Lack of discipline. People don't know how to handle their finances, their resources. So what happened? They don't know how to invest, save, or like that. They, it can cost you poverty. Debt, you just keep on borrowing money. If you cannot afford, do not borrow money. No? But, but in business, um, this is tricky, no? But you pray for wisdom that you will learn financial literacy no because sometimes you need to borrow money so you will have capital for your uh, business and si Kati also uh, borrow money from my brother sister my sister-in-law before when i want to do like the business that i want to invest 
when I started becoming a professional body designer, I need to have a sample shang luggage to measure people to wear healthy undergarments. So I need capital. So I calculate and I talk to my um, creditors, which are my brothers and sisters and sister-in-law to uh, be patient with me. Every time I earn something, I pay them slowly. So it's like that. When we borrow or have debt for the purpose because you want to earn someday no and i also invest on this one mga iron spec kasi yan si Kati is a health advocate i want to do business that help people prevent eye disease prevent mga critical illness so that's why Shansi Kati sometimes venture into business that helps people to be healthy. So I need capital. So you just think that in itself is not evil. But if you just borrow, borrow because you want to, to buy something that you cannot afford, please never do that. It will cause you to be poor or poverty. No? Uh, you will... Kasi some people put interest pa in your debt. So please uh, don't fall into that temptation. Okay? So disregarding of God's law, you don't serve the Lord. No? Disregard of God's work. So you know, wherever you are kids, young people, use what you have for the Lord. No? Example, somebody give you ang pao. Oh, Example, you receive 1,000. How much is 10% of 1,000? 100. So you learn to give unto the Lord. Be generous. That that 10% is for your offering, tithes. And if you want to give more, why not? No? So learn to also think of the Lord's work, His kingdom work. Not just think of, I, I want to build the house, big house. I want to acquire this property or things like that that you only think of you you don't think of others even when you learn to work na someday please if your salary example 20,000 how much is 10% of 10, 20,000 can you answer me in the chat box how much is 10% of 20,000 Oh, no one's answering. Are you still there? Yeah? Okay, I need you to write in the chat box your answer, huh? 100 peso. Yes, that was earlier. 20,000. 10% is 2,000. Yes, you think, ah, 2,000, I can buy so many things. But you know what the Bible says? 20,000 is 2,000. Ang 10%. Huh? So, you should learn your math. If you don't, you use calculator, okay? So, you because 10% is not yours. Actually, all that we have, everything we have is not ours. It's from the Lord. Uh-huh. 10% of 20,000 is not 100, not 1 peso, not 1 centavo. It's 2000 okay you should learn your mata huh? you should learn how to be a blessing to the lord's work in his kingdom um to those people who needs your help okay yeah i hope very clear and then because of oppression famine misfortune so this if this is not in your control then don't worry god will take care of us during famine as God's child, he will not allow us to be tested beyond what we can bear. If there's famine, yes, let's. If there's scarcity of water, you try to not be so wasteful, no? With food, with water, with whatever you have. Let's learn to budget. Okay. Mm. What else? I feel hot, no? Ha <laughs> ha. Shansi Kati, wear long sleep. So, can you please read this? Um, who else I haven't called? Okay, Gian, thank you for raising your hand. As you can see. As you can see, majority of 
causes of poverty are, are self-inflicted. We are poor because of our own moral and lifestyle choices. And you will be surprised that some just want to remain poor so they can be a charity. We, we think that we the world owe us a favor, a favor. We think that we have nothing to give, but not so for the Macedonians. Yeah, so some people think like that no they want to remain poor so that they keep on receiving from the government charity or be entitled to be the one to keep on the receiving end you know shansi kati before when we were serving the lord for 14 years in church i don't have business i don't uh, work i just help in church full time with my husband in church Yes, God is so good. Uh, church member, brothers and sister, sometimes bring us food in our parsonage. Bless me with clothes that they they want to give. Of course, not brand new, no. Usually, it's something like hand me down. It's okay. I appreciate so much in every way. And there are times that we don't know where to. <laughs> there are times now after the contract ends and we don't know where's the next um, assignment that the Lord wants us to serve. So there are months that we don't know where we work, where will we serve. So we live by faith and sometimes so we don't know <laughs> where to buy grocery, uh, what to do to buy grocery. And so we just use our credit card like that. That time we have credit card, good thing, no? But God is so faithful. At the onset, when we need to pay the credit card, somebody will bless. But in my heart, na, um, yes, we have to live by faith as a, a child of God and as a minister's wife and all but i also believe that we can if god give me opportunity where i can also work like as a school principal as a teacher tutor i do work so i have money and then i will not depend of people to bless us to give us like uh offering like oh uh this is for you we want to bless you I don't like to be in that state na, um, <laughs> na waiting for people to bless us. Of course, it's good to accept God's blessing. Praise be to God for those people who are generous to bless a church worker. Yeah, But in my heart, no, I also want that I can be the one God will use to be a channel of blessing to give to other people who are in need. So Shansi Kati really do try my best to also have some side hustle, but not to neglect my priority, my family, of course, my relationship with God, my family, and also then ministry. Yes, ministry. But also God also wants us to put importance to our work. Because when we work, we will be able to bless our family, God's work, yeah, in the ministry. But as a Bible school student, because we're graduate of being trained in Singapore Bible College, it's our commitment. Whether a church wants us to serve, to preach, teach, or school, if there's none, we will continue to serve in our own way, whom God will allow us to minister so kids young people don't think that you are not trained in bible school like that you can be used by god invite your friends cousin tell them what you learn from our kids church youth fellowship share to them by the way tmi residential academy will start this coming june uh, no, no, no. June, not June. June is training for all for the teachers. No, July we have our summer program. Uh, we will focus on uh, some life skills, independent skills, how we can be good in our interpersonal relationship, emotional, social, 
in our moral education also and most importantly we also do reflex neurosensory motor reflex integration so we will improve holistically not just academic but in a holistic way and if you are interested please do enroll huh we will start this coming july 3 until july 14 for batch one and for batch two, July 17 to July 28. Mm. By August, by August, we will start our school year 2023-2024. Um, if you are in your house or if you have struggled financially and your parents will tell you, um, stop schooling first or what? You can still enroll. No, TMI Residential Academy offers three tracks. No, for non-readers, for elementary education, modular setup, and then for junior high school setup, uh, which is modular also, free tuition fee. You just attend every Sunday for our kids' church youth fellowship for our moral education. And you submit to Shensi Kati online what you are finishing in your worksheet modules huh? that will be sent to you soft copy. You print it and you answer it and then you return it and submit. But <laughs> if you need uh, residential services or tutorial services or therapy services from our teachers to go to your house or you will go to us where we are located we, temporarily we are meeting uh, we are collaborating to some schools churches where we can partner so we can meet them face to face our students in that area so right now we are partner with Wisdom Light Christian Academy, Trinity University, uh, TUA, Trinity University of Asia. So, which is located in Quezon City, Manila, uh, Quezon City, Philippines. But if you are in other parts, then we cannot accommodate face to face. So, just meet us online. If you need us, our teacher not only to go to your places if this is not possible because our teachers we only have four teachers as of the moment so we cannot accommodate you in this face-to-face -face setup we will meet you online face-to-face -face. like you can avail of our daily zoom or uh, face uh, mwf or tth so just connect with us if you want to enroll through our alternative learning system uh, set up or as provider of alternative learning system. So we are recognized. We are approved by DepEd. So we will be able to give you certificate when you finish the portfolio. Yeah. And so there's no way to say na I cannot study. I just stay at home. I'm be lazy and wait for wait for opportunity or who can feed you. No, we are not lazy. Wherever, whatever situation you are, it's not an excuse, ah, huh, not to study and improve. Okay, so yeah. That's one of the ministry of Testament Ministries International. Not only we preach, teach God's word every Sunday, 10 a.m. for adults, 5 p.m. for kids and youth. We also have education side. Huh? Monday to Friday, you study. Every Sunday, you submit to us what you accomplish during the week. You accumulate in the clear book. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our topic, hindrances to cheerful giving. Okay, so next, 2 Corinthians 8, 1 to 5. Can you please read? Mm -hmm. Sky, please read. Hi, Hesed, how are you? Are you feeling better, Hesed? Okay, Sky, please read. Oh, Hesed is out. Mm. Oh, Sky, are you there, Sky? 
Okay, uh, can I ask Joshua to please read? And now, brothers, we want to know about the, the grace that God has given the Macedonian churches out of the most serve trial, their overflowing joy and extreme poverty, walled up in rich generosity, for I testify they give us as much as they were able and be and even beyond their ability entirely on their own they to the saints and they did not do as we as expected but they gave themselves first to and then to us in keeping with God's will. Okay. Thank you. Um, so even though you are in extreme poverty, doesn't mean you cannot give. So here in the Macedonian churches, even they are a poor church, no, but they have severe trials, but even though they are in that state, they continue to experience overflowing joy and they keep on being um, generous. Yeah. So hopefully we can be like that, no? Because when we are generous, we are to the Lord. Who wants to be generous? Can you give me a heart? Um, thumbs up. Yeah, thank you, Caleb. Has said they want to be generous to help people. Yes, there's so many people out there needs our help. So if you're in the car, you also prepare some biscuits or use clothing. If somebody needs it, then you can give. Okay, next. Um, there are many orphanages also like that. Okay, next hindrance to general being generous or cheerful giving is self indulgence. Has said, can you please read? Unmute has said, you are doing something else. Has said, please focus. Okay, unmute. This is what is self indulgence? Can you help? Has said, who wants to help? All right. Okay. <laughs> Excessive. Or of what all purposes. Red wine is in the bad emotional behavior that provides six drugs, alcohol. Yeah, self indulgence is very <laughs> bad to us, no? That too much gratification of one's appetite, desires, and whims, and the vouchery of it's bad behavior, no? Consumerism is also a social economic order and ideology that encourage the acquisition of goods and service in the increasing amount. You want more and more of acquisition of things, material. It can and has affected the church. We only come to our own expediencies and comfort. What? Is it for me? You always think of that. That's consumerism. So by nature, we just like to satisfy our own appetites and cravings. Sometimes we also, it's not sometimes, it's good to also exercise like, um, like you control self-discipline. Um, they call it like you do fast. Na, um not too much ice cream, too much chocolate, or too much indulgence of your hobby. You learn to discipline, huh? not to be self-indulgent and spend so much money. So learn to just limit, like example, eating outside once a month or once a week, It's but not every day or most of the time so you can save money to be a blessing to others Ephesians 2 3 okay Gian 
uh, has said, okay, are you there, Gian? You can read. Has Ephesians said, chapter 2, verse 3. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying all the craving of our sinful nature and following is not is it's desired and thoughts like the rest. We were by nature objects of, of wrath. wrath. Mm. Okay, thank you. So, has said, continue. James 5, 3 to 5. Your gold. Okay, your, your gold. And silver are all corroded. Their corrosion. Testify against you. And if your friend like by you have hoarded well in the last day for look the wagons wages you failed to pay to pay the workmen where who who mold your feet are crying out against you. You created against you. The cries of the harvesters. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ear of the Lord. So Almighty. Almighty. You have lived on the earth. In luxury. In luxury as a Indulgence. Indulgence, you have. Pattern yourself. Pattern yourself the day of slaughter. of slaughter. So let us not be self-indulgent, no? Thinking only of yourself, acquiring wealth, silver, gold, and hoarding, not paying what is due to your people who work for you, and just live in luxury, no? Mother Teresa once said, what did it say, Marvin? If you give, if you do not need it, it's giving. It isn't giving. Why noisy, Marvin, there? Please pause what you are watching, Marvin. Please focus so you can learn something, okay? So how are, what are the ways to counter this greed, Poverty and self-indulgent tendency. What do you do so you can counter it? Please pay attention. This is the most practical that we can do so we will not be hindered in our being cheerful in giving. Please read, um, Jeshra. Having a new life. Having a new life in Christ, knowing God's will, self-control, self lead Daniel, other, other centeredness, centeredness, giving. So for us to counter this, be connected to Christ, accept him as your Lord and Savior, so you will have new life in Christ. Pray to God what his will for you, and you focus doing that, like, what he wants us it's will it's his will for us to be generous to be giving it's his will for us to obey our parents it's his will for us to not be self-indulgent greedy so know his will and then self-control ask god to help you self-control if not necessary don't acquire things that are not important self-denial learn to like uh, I will not be too much uh, luxury in life. It's enough. Learn to be content also. And then what? Think of others, not only self-centered, but other-centered. Okay? Just give. Mm, okay. Acts 20, 35. Uh, Sky, can you please read, Sky? Marvin? Sky, are you there? Okay, Marvin, can you read? Everything I did, I show you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak 
remembering the words of the Lord. Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. Yeah, so again, everybody type in the chat box. It is more blessed to give than to receive so that it will retain to your head. No? Yes. Has said, H. Jackson Brown Jr. said, you read, remember that the happiest people are not those getting more, but those giving more. If you want to be happy, learn to be a channel of blessing to give. Christopher Reed, success is finding satisfaction in giving a little more than you take. So ultimately, cheerful giving is what is required. One can give grudgingly, but this is not what God wants. He, you cannot light your way to God. God sees the heart. God values our heart. And with what attitude we give. Mm. God sees what's inside our hearts, our motives. So let us give happily. Let us give cheerfully to God and to others yeah and are you learning something today that's our sharing so please learn to let's pray to god that we will be cheerful in our giving yes we give but we should be giving cheerfully <laughs> okay i know it's not easy topic but by faith we can be generous na? Who wants to pray? Can I see a hand? Who likes to pray? Caleb, can you write in the chat box what you learned today? I will read it. Yeah. So I know even though your mic is not working, Lauren, you please also write. Sky, oh, Hesed. Hmm. I can ask. Who wants to close in prayer? Hesed, please close in prayer. Mm. yes let us not spend too much yes okay let's pray hash and sikati na lang pray dear heavenly father thank you so much for our topic today on hindrances to cheerful giving help us lord not to be greedy to be having this poor status or poverty status and also be self-indulgent. Help us, Lord, to be having the close intimacy relationship of experiencing new life in Christ, to be self-controlled, to be wise in our handling of our money resources someday if when we go to work, help us know how to do budgeting, to save like that. Hallelujah. Thank you. Dismiss us with your love. Bless my our parents financially. Honor the work of the hand of our parents, whether business or whether they are working. Bless our parents with good health. Our, all of us, no? keep us all healthy. Thank you, Lord, for providing for all our needs. Monthly, weekly, daily needs. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please help us to learn how to save, to give tithes unto the Lord. By the way, if you like to bless Testament Ministries International, just PM us, then we will give you our bank account also if you want to bless the ministry. Okay, thank you and I love you all. Children, see you next Sunday, huh? Invite your friends. Amen. 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 <laughs> yes, huh? Thank you, Gian. Okay, I will stop the live.